Hey everybody, it's Lawrence from lawrencelanoff.com. I want you to click the subscribe link right now so I can keep you updated on all kinds of cool tips and tricks to free your mind, create more peace and energy in your body for you to have more fun and more pleasure in your life. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about some simple life hacks, some principles that I think are super important that you really probably already know as you've listened to this, you're probably going to be like, you know what, I kind of know this, but they do need to be said. So number one is no matter what, life is short. And in the context of the universe, it's super short. So this means that we have to live and embrace life fully every day. Number two, failure is a necessary part of life. Uh, you know, I say this sometimes in workshops where I say, you know, I think this is really true. It's like life, human life is basically everything that you say, you see, is evidence of all the great failures we've had in life. All the building codes that exist, exist because of all the buildings that collapsed on us, all the people that died in our history. Life is so much about getting it wrong a lot. Number three, we really have a lot to learn regardless of how old we are. And I have to say a lot of times people go, they'll say to me like, oh, you're an expert or you've meditated or you're, you know, you're a Tantra master. And, and I say this and I do not say this humbly. I say this in absolute truth, which is I feel like I learn something on a regular basis. Every workshop I do, every time I have a conversation with somebody, every time I'm open, there's an opportunity for me to learn something, which I feel really good about. The fourth thing, there is a whole bunch of stuff that you can't control, and yet you go through your life trying to be happy by trying to control things that you can't control. So really the key to happiness, which is what this share is about today, this is about happiness, how to be happy. You have to understand that there are things that you can't control in your life. Number five, never confuse information and a whole bunch of head learning with experience. So there is, wisdom is really about the intersection of knowledge, all the knowledge and information you're taking in with experience that you experience in your body. And this is where wisdom exists. So knowledge, without experience is really not a lot and lots of experience but without that shaping of knowledge and understanding and education also doesn't get you to the wisdom point the wisdom point is the intersection of the two the next thing is number six that just because you're busy it doesn't mean that you're being productive and sometimes it's really important to don't just do something stand there like stop relax Take some moments, no joke, this is really, I know it sounds trite, but take the time to smell the roses, to take time that you need to feel and connect and like connect to life because just because you're busy doesn't mean productivity is happening or even the quality of your life is improving. Number seven you will not really be able to be successful in life unless you can figure out a way to create value for people. Value is, a, is the commodity that we trade. And in trading value, people openly share money, they share, you know, they're so willing to give and so generous. This has been my experience all through life, the generosity of people because of the ways that I can add value and quality to your life and that in turn creates a spirit of generosity and that is what makes the world go round. Now understand also that there's a clear distinction between thinking about something and doing it and you never want to confuse the two. You might think about it, oh yeah I really wanted to do that whatever but actually taking the steps, let's say with the idea of generosity, you know to take that step and Give somebody something to, to, to do the thing, to take the step to travel, to take the trip. Um, you got to do that at some point. Now, the next point, number nine, key to happiness. You really can't do anything about the past except learn from it. So, well, that's not totally true, but I'll get into that more. But, but for the purpose of happiness... 
you want to think in terms of you can't change the past, so learn from it. Learn from it, learn from it, learn from it, because the learning piece is what is so profound. Now, of course, in other videos, and if you poke around on my site, again, I invite you to subscribe um, or visit lawrencelanoff.com. I do have ways that we can talk about altering the past, but that's not what this video is about. Now, number 10, finally, you have to take responsibility for your own happiness. If you're one of those people that are looking for the leprechaun unicorn of the relationship, the man, the woman, the perfect thing that's going to save you and take you into the gates of heaven and change your life and give you all the orgasms you want and all the pleasures, forget about it. You're going to be hanging out lonely and alone for a long time. Forget it. What you have to do is start taking responsibility for your own happiness. And one of the things to happiness is more pleasure in your body. More pleasure, more freedom. Get in touch with your sexuality. Start to own your pleasure. Start to ask for what you want. Take responsibility for the quality of your life, for your own happiness, for increasing your pleasure. And that, my friends, is what I have to say to you today. Have a beautiful day. Again, this is Lawrence, lawrencelanoff.com. Subscribe to my channel. Go to my website. I've got all kinds of tips and tricks and articles and all kinds of cool things to help you be happier in your life, feel better in your body, and really live the life that you deserve to live. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video.